Johnson, attack that boom cannon. Yeah! That's some good attacking, Johnson. Boom, boom Beach. What's going on everybody? This is the Game Hunter channel with another episode of Boom Beach Headquarters 16 is finally here after a day and six hours, I believe. Headquarters 16 is here. Beautiful. So now I have access to some really cool stuff. First of all, I got a couple extra defensive buildings. I got an extra landing craft, which is huge. That is actually a big, big, big addition to my arsenal. And now I got an extra machine gun, extra cannon, boom mine, and an additional rocket launcher. Mm, that's gonna make a difference absolutely and in the economy part we got also the stone storage sweet but I'm more excited about something else I'm gonna show you right now if we look over here right there my warriors are almost ready uh, look what we have the grenadier finally this unit is something <laughs> I really wanted to try a long time ago let's take a look to the stats okay I uh, start with 450 hit points unit size 6 that's a lot training cost 8000 training time 15 minutes movement speed moderate oh okay that's good I really thought it was low I, I, I actually am really happy to see that it's moderate range is very long and that is the key of the Grenadier. If you check the stats or the explanation or the description of the Grenadier, you see the Grenadier is a big and powerful range unit that deals area damage rather inaccurately. And that's the problem. <laughs> that is the only problem about the Grenadier. I believe it's super powerful, but it's a little bit inaccurate. So that's why in this episode, we're going to try the Grenadier in a couple of attacks. And let's see how that goes. Like I said, this is my first time trying this unit. So just wish me luck. Are you guys ready? Let's go. All right, let's go against Pico 77, level 35. Um, let's analyze this base. What do we have? Headquarter 14. Rocket launcher level 2 only, which shouldn't be a problem. Um, fortunately, the selection of troops that I have is a little bit messed up. <laughs> Got a bunch of riflemen, some suka sukas, uh, heavies, and the grenadiers. Uh, so I'm not really sure how this is going to work out, to be quite honest. But let's analyze this base then. We have a couple of cannons in from level 9, which is significant. But if you take a look to this, there is a big opening in the left side of this base. Headquarters right there. What is actually defending the headquarters? Probably the boom cannon. Yes, we got the mortar level 10. This cannon, this sniper tower, uh, cannon, 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 then flight thrower. Besides that, all these buildings over here are completely useless. Completely useless. But, but if we attack from the back, from here, we can easily, easily get a lot of energy from the sawmill, the iron mine, and the quarry, which can help me to take care of this base. And uh, where's the second boom can? Okay, the second boom can over there, level four. This is boom can level four. Like I said, we can go for a really straight path in here, or we can go for the long run and try to get all the resources and get some extra energy. Blah blah blah. You know, long, 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 long run. Uh, let's try the shortcut. Okay, let's give it a shot to the shortcut. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. All right. Let's analyze this. What are we doing? I uh, will probably take care of the rocket launcher just because my is really low level. It's really low level. Perfect. Uh, and I have a bunch of riflemen and all kind of stuff, so that's not friendly. That is really not good. All right. So what we're we gonna do? We can. Probably, ah, we can actually destroy that hmm. flamethrower in front. Okay, what we're gonna do is the following: we're gonna deploy this, sold the soldiers, soldiers over there, grenadier, grenadier in the back. Let's deploy some suka. All right, so hopefully my soldiers are gonna be capable to stay alive after the flamethrower. Even the flamethrower level one was kind of deadly. I don't really like that. And here comes the grenadiers in the back, taking care of business. Alright, so I haven't used any any of my uh, energy, so let's go to this area. Let's see if we can heal my troops just a little bit. Uh, probably gonna put a bank um, bombard right here. See if we can slow down the burn cannon and also the sniper tower, which could be trouble. Alright, so now we can get close to the bombard. Yeah, we can get close to the mortar. 
this one is gonna go down we can probably shut down the flamethrower before it gets a little bit out of control let's see if my sukas decide to take care of business probably yes let's see sukas thank you so much for helping and now we should probably put a flare behind the headquarter and stay protected i don't think the probably boom cannon is going to be able to shoot me no not really wow the range of the granite ears is just ridiculous it's just ridiculous i'm wondering how we can use the granite ears with some tanks probably and some medics Ooh, that sounds like a worth to try right all right let's give it a shot to that combination in the next attack all right let's take a look to this base um let me see the level of those cannon level five level three should probably attack the level five first probably bombard right in between the bone cannon and these two cannons in here that will help me big time and after that we can deploy the tanks and also my medics hmm sounds like a plan shall we let's go all right what are we doing in here then we're gonna start a bombard right there in the middle let's see if we can some decent damage to the cannon and the boom cannon too. Let's go one more. We've got plenty of energy. The rest of the energy is going to be used to deploy the units. Uh, one more. The boom cannon is down. Perfect. That will take care of business that part. All right. So now we can deploy our tanks with a little bit of confidence. I can put these guys in front. I don't want to deploy the grenadiers yet. Medic is fine. Grenadiers is probably time. All right. Grenadier now. I just want to make sure they stay behind the tanks. If the tanks can actually do most of the work, I'd be more than happy. I'd be more than happy. That cannon in front is kind of scary. But I'm assuming that my medic and my tanks are going to be capable to just destroy it. Wow, look at the grenadiers. The damage that they do is ridiculous. The only problem is that they're super inaccurate. Super, super inaccurate. All right, let's do some damage in here in the middle. Let's see if we can bring down that motor and also that sniper tower. I'm gonna move back my cannon just a little bit, just a little bit. Let's see if we can slow down sniper tower too. I don't want to lose any of my tanks. I'm trying to give some extra time for my medics to <laughs> to arrive. That medic looks like a Koopa Trooper from <laughs> from Mario Bros. Yes, it does. Okay, now we need in trouble. That boom cannon could be an issue. Let's see if we can bring down the headquarter before it wakes up. Otherwise, we are big, big, big trouble. Uh, don't have enough energy. Oh, yeah, I got enough energy. Beautiful. To shut down the boom cannon. And probably my units are going to be capable to bring down the headquarter. The grenadiers are doing a really good supporting cap. Yeah, I think they're doing a really good job. I like it. I like it. I like it. So they got so much range. The range that they have is just ridiculous. So using these guys, I don't, I don't even know if I need the tanks. I probably can try a combination between some heavies in front and then some tanks. Uh, I'm sorry, some grenadiers behind. Hmm, interesting. I might need to upgrade my my landing craft in order to have room for more grenadiers. So then we can try so the only grenadiers attack. That would be epic. <laughs> Let's go to the last attack of this episode. All right, let's see what we can do against this one. Uh, interesting cluster defense. Um, we should be able to attack, strike from this area, get a lot of resources. So my main target will be to destroy this cannon over here. This cannon is level 9. Hmm. We can destroy that cannon. We got pretty much... A free pass to destroy all these buildings in this area yeah because all the rest of the cannons are clustering here what is the level of the boom cannon level four okay that could be trouble but i guess we can do it let's try one more time this combination between tanks medics and grenadiers all right let's go all right let's see we're we gonna Start deploying my units right away, especially the tanks, because it's gonna take forever to those guys to arrive. So let's see if we can get the part rolling. Perfect. In the meantime, we can probably deploy a couple artillery right in the middle. Perfect. Perfect spot. Nice. So we can deploy the grenadiers now. And the thing is that we're gonna put a flare at the end of the island. That way, yeah, that's gonna give me some extra extra time to work in the base. Uh, there's a couple of buildings that are really close, like this one. 
should probably deploy right there above bar. Let's see how that goes. I wanna slow down that boom cannon and also that sniper tower. That'll be perfect. Now we can put our own artillery right in the middle. Ooh, that wasn't enough. That's crazy. But that definitely is gonna take care of that. Boom, okay. Two less. Thanks, Grenadiers are taking care of the rest. Super powerful unit, this Grenadier. The only problem is a little bit inaccurate. <laughs> As you guys saw in the description. But besides that, it's quite deadly. Quite, quite deadly. Okay, let's use this area. I got a really nice cluster in there. If I can deploy the bombard without any issues, I can actually deploy another bombard right here and probably bring down the cannon, the sniper tower, and also that mortar. That is exactly what happened. Now we can bring down the solar cannon over here, doing all the work. I don't even pay attention to my troops. I know they can keep a distance, so I'm fine. That's the good thing about using tanks, and in this case, having grenadiers also to give me some support, right? Because we don't really need to care. We don't need to take care about the part. You just need to take care of uh, analyzing the base, how the attack is going, and trying to take care of all the tough defensive buildings, like sniper towers and also some, okay, you know, uh, yeah, and also some um, cannons and boom cannons. Uh, the other cannon is gonna go down. Yes, cannon is gonna go. Down. Wow, it is amazing that the range of the grenadier is so long that the cannon can't even reach it. Wow, that that that's impressive. That for me is impressive. I cannot believe that the range is that crazy. All right, we can also deploy over here. Uh, Grenadiers are shooting the mortar from distance, which is just crazy. We completely destroyed this base. Wow. I kind of like this combination all the sudden. These tanks, medics, and grenadiers are doing a really good job. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was another epic episode of Boom Beach. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share my videos, and I will see you in the next one. Keep booming, everybody.